What's up everyone, Take Down here, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about what to do if your Xbox Series X or S is experiencing the black screen of death. Let's get right into this. The first thing you're gonna to want to try is to simply restart the console. To do this, you're gonna hold the Xbox button on the front of the console for about 10 seconds until it shuts down. Next, you're gonna unplug and replug the console back into the power outlets, and then you're gonna press the Xbox button to turn on the Xbox. Now I know that it sounds so simple just restarting the console, but usually for a lot of people that does work. Now if it didn't work for you, the next thing to do is to check the HDMI cable. The first thing you're gonna to want to check is to make sure that there's no damage on the HDMI cable, on the ports on your Xbox, and even the ports on your TV. If you do see any kind of damage, that is likely the reason why you are experiencing the black screen of death. If you don't see any damage, if your TV does have multiple HDMI ports, then I would recommend simply taking the HDMI cable and plugging it into a different port on your TV, and of course going into your TV settings and changing the input to that HDMI cable to see if it does work for you. I know for myself, the TV right here, the HDMI port 1 was what I was using previously, it all of a sudden stopped working working and I was experiencing the black screen of death myself. Once I did change to HDMI port number two, it did work once again. So for whatever reason, HDMI port number one just stopped working on my TV. And for some people, just switching to a different port hopefully will work for you. If that doesn't work, the next thing to try is to use a completely different HDMI cable and simply going through those steps I just mentioned where first just trying the HDMI cable and if that doesn't work, try using a different port on your TV. If checking or replacing the HDMI cable doesn't work for you, the next thing to do is to reset the Xbox display settings. To do this, you're going to want to press and hold the power button and eject buttons until you hear two beeps, which are 10 seconds apart. You should now be in the low resolution mode. From here, you can go into the Xbox settings and you can revert back to the higher resolution that you had previously. Now, unlike some of my other videos where I do have more options that you can try yourself, whenever it comes to the Xbox Series X or S, these are pretty much the only quick fixes that you can try yourself, simply restarting the console usually does work for a lot of people. If that doesn't work, simply changing the HDMI cable or trying a different HDMI cable usually does work for most people as well. Other than the three options that I did mention in this video, there isn't so much that you can do yourself. So hopefully one of these did work for you. If it did, please leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.